Welcome back to Bangkok and look who it is. Mr. Gary, the roaming cook, is back again. Can't get rid of him on this channel at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, you've proved yourself. You know a lot about Thai food. He did the blind tasting challenge and absolutely destroyed it. So congratulations on that once again. And recently we went on a really delicious street food tour and we went down the back alleys and found some of the most amazing Thai seafood, street food I've ever tasted. And everybody in the comments absolutely loved those recommendations again, Gary, so thank you. My pleasure. Now, this one's a little bit of a, a selfish request. I love Indian food, and now you're British. I, I'm assuming that you love Indian food. I mean, it's in our blood, isn't it? <laughs> you cut us and chicken tikka masala comes out. <laughs> Honestly, in England, it's our number one dish. Yeah. Google it if you don't believe us. I texted him the other day and said, do you know anywhere we can go and film good Indian food? And he said, I am so confident I have the place for you down at Ong Ang Canal, which backs onto Pahura, which mm -hmm. is Little India. Yeah, and as you know, when you go to Bangkok, you'll see all these canals and systems of rivers and things, and they look kind of smelly and dirty. And most of the time, that's the situation. <laughs> In fact, we just went past a bunch that are um, under renovation, but this whole strip of canal system, it actually looks like we're in Venice or something. There's people kayaking, there's lots of shops and market food, and it looks really posh, doesn't it? It does actually, yeah. So we're gonna go punting down the river, <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna build up our appetite and go for a curry. Yeah, they've done a really good job here renovating this short stretch of canal. And as you can see on the sign, Fridays to Sundays in the afternoons, early evenings is the best time to come. We'll show you some more of the atmosphere and things to do as well in a minute. But uh, yeah, let's get on one of these kayaks and see what this is all about. Hello, welcome. Romantic, mate. Huh? Romantic. <laughs> see you later, buddy. Not sure how I feel about canoeing in this canal. Um, it's cleaner than most canals I've been in, but it still does just lead on to the bit of the canal that isn't renovated. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I'm just pouring water into my bag with the quicks. Yeah, be careful. Ah! Ah! Oi! Ah! Oi. ah. So it's not very far, you, don't, you know, you kayak, what is it, 200, 300 meters? Yeah, and then it's just kind of, that's it. Um, and it's free to do. It's a bit of a gimmick, but it's something different, isn't it? It is, it's fun as well. I, just, I was just saying on the other camera, like, um, it's the second thing that I've done that I wouldn't usually do. Like, the first thing was your idea. I thought you were going to say, first thing is I wouldn't usually hang out with Paddy. <laughs> yeah, but that goes without saying. Let's go back and uh, let's get some curry. Yeah, I'm worn out, I need to eat. Let's do it. I was just saying to Gary, uh, it's a little bit like Hoi An in Vietnam, isn't it? It has got that sort of vibe, hasn't it? With the canal and the bridges and, and the, the lanterns bustle. and the, they've got all the lanterns hanging down and stuff. No ban me though. No ban me. But we're not about that today, we're about the Indian food. We're about the, all about the Indian food. But yeah, nice little spot if you're thinking about coming to explore a different, new, fresh part of Bangkok, Friday to Sundays, afternoons and early evenings. Okay. Yeah. So all this strip of restaurants, I mean, as we're walking down, it is just so mouth-watering and the, the smell, it's just every single place smells amazing. And it's really cool, you've got inside with the aircon and then you can see outside on the plastic tables and chairs and they're all next, next to each other. It really is like a little India, obviously. But the place we've gone for is a northern Indian place and uh, they just look like they know what they're doing, especially when it comes to making the, the, the delicious naan. So we're definitely gonna have some naan bread. Good hell, sir. Okay, here we go. So we got three different curries and the naan. Now, I've never seen naan bread prepared. Now, is that normal how they do that? Uh, well, so like in London, where, where I'm from, everyone has a tandoor oven, right? 
in restaurants. So you, you get that really high heat um, and it puffs up straight away. But if you don't have that oven, you need to find a different way to do it. So doing it that way over high heat in a pan and you're kind of charring the bottom in the pan and then he's like flipping the pan so it's hitting the naked flame to char the edges and he goes all the way around the edges then he flips it onto like a wire rack kind of like um, the same sort of grill you'd hold a fish in if you see like a fish barbecue and then he just does the bottom and the top and it's done in a matter of minutes and it all puffs up and you wouldn't be really be able to tell the difference between that and it being done in a proper sort of tandoor oven. I have to say the food here doesn't look incredible but it smells unbelievable. Now the reason I ordered an egg masala is because when I used to live in India, I used to work, um, I used to volunteer in a school. I volunteered in a school in Kerala for about four, five, six months and I just helped out in a school that couldn't afford basic supplies and uh, it, was a, it was an amazing memory but because it was a really heavily Muslim area, no pork, chicken was really hard to come by and obviously in India cows are sacred so they don't eat beef. So the only protein that you could get was eggs and every single day I had an egg masala before school, after school. I lived on a diet of egg masala. So this is just pure nostalgic for me. And uh, as you can see from the B-roll that I've been showing you, I had long curly hair and I had skinny jeans and I used to think I was like a Russell Brand type figure. So I'm gonna go with the egg masala first because I just wanna sort of relive my little time in, uh, in India. I've been to India many times before, but when I, when I lived in Kerala, this was the only time I could actually find egg masala. So, just a boiled egg and some curry sauce, but with this delicious handmade uh, naan bread. I remember the family I used to live with. I remember going to all the Indian weddings. I remember the cobwebs that were in the restaurant, and they would never seem to clean the cobwebs, and there was like millions of them. Most delicious. Right, let's try a bit of this mutton. So a nice piece of mutton there. Now, what's this sauce? Do you know anything about this sauce? Like what, why it's green, how it's made? Mutton palak, they call it here, but you would call it like uh, palak gosh in, um, in India. It just means meat and spinach. So palak is spinach. Some people know it as sag. Like in England, we would have like sagaloo, which is spinach and potatoes, um, or sag chicken or sag gosh. But sag and palak just mean the same thing. It just means, it's just pureed spinach, basically. Um, and this has got um, tomatoes and just some very basic spices like cumin, coriander, um, yeah, and uh, cinnamon, that's about it. You've got to have it with the bread, man. I've got to have it with the bread, I mean, I'm just trying to get a bit off the um, off yeah, the bone. The mutton is a bit big and it's difficult. The to mutton's on the bone, it. but all right. Thank you, buddy. I mean, it looks absolutely not the best, but. Mm. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? <laughs> You're just not expecting that amount of flavour in it. Big hit of ginger as well, loads of garlic. It's oily, it's rich, it's absolutely delicious. The mutton's soft. That is a very, very good dish. Like Paddy said, like when we eat curry, coming from Britain, especially from London, if you're from the big cities like London, Birmingham, Manchester, like it just invokes such good memories. It's obviously some bad memories as well. Uh, Gary, I don't know about you, did you used to play Sunday League football or pub? Did you play in a pub team? Um, yeah, we used to play a little bit. I used to play power league as well. We used to go for a curry every Sunday after we'd like been drinking basically all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'd always get chicken tikka masala, lambuna, a pint lambuna. of a, a pint of kingfisher, <laughs> and uh, poppadoms in a, and a whole set. Now and you're we, talking. Yeah. And yeah. like in England, honestly, like we'd go for a curry at midnight, <laughs> like after ten Standard. pints. <laughs> <laughs> Not even like yeah. yeah. And you'd stare at the menu, wouldn't you? You'd stare at the menu for like 10, 15 minutes and then you'd order the same thing you always order every single week. You're threatening to order something different. Yeah, maybe this week I'll try the nun and I have the tikka masala, <laughs> kingfisher, six pop of noms and a nun, please. Yeah. And there's always that one bloke. Yeah. Uh, Vindaloo, extra spicy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So yeah, me and Gary highly recommend Little India. If you love curry just as much as we do, then you're gonna love this place. And even if you don't, you just wanna come down and absorb the cool atmosphere and take in the smells of the spicy foods and maybe go kayaking down the canals, then don't worry, the description has the location for you. And uh, yeah, Google Maps and you'll find it easy. It's not too far away from Koh San Road. And after a couple of curries, we started getting a taste for a cold beer and well, it's pretty rude not to go down to Coast Sand Road and finish the night off with a nice cold beer. Right, 
Right, uh, we were going to sort of show you around Koh San Ro, but it's so loud. It's unbelievably loud. And it's all copyright music. So whilst our little um, Incubus live acoustic session band is having a little bit of a break, they're just starting the next song. I'll probably just end the video. Me and Gary will have a few beers. I'll show you some imagery of Koh San Ro, but I can't show you the sound. It's so loud and it's all copyrighted. But um, thanks for watching. Yeah.